The first law, it's not the balance of nutrition, but the balance of energy that is the determining parameter for the quality or the functioning of water in a swim pond. The second one is very interesting. Water does not need plants, but plants do need water. The third law says, and this I'm going to show you a little bit, you should build a swim pond, a natural pool, a swim teich, in a way that you can service it if you want to service it. Your channel for swim tykes. Nature in your garden and water that's alive. Enjoy watching. First of all, what is a swim teich? Again, for those who haven't uh, seen all our videos, for those who haven't read our book, um, just to let you know what a swim teich is. It's a swim pond or a natural pool that works without any technical support, without any chemical substances and without plants. The inventor of this system um, is a smart guy in Upper Austria who is now about uh, nearly 80 years old. He had worked for a long period of time in a sewage plant and got to know water really well. Um, this guy, because of his experience with water, was called very often to swim ponds or even ponds or biotops um, that did not work well. Um, and he went there and serviced them, helped them to get out of bad quality and uh, transformed them into um, swim ponds with much better quality. And during all this work and all this experience, he um, found out that there are three laws he himself um, made that you should implement when building um, a swim pond. And uh, because his laws and then um, his way of building his system is so special, you cannot really call it natural pool. You cannot because a natural pool, um, you always imagine something that works with a lot of technique, technique with a lot of power that you have to install, with a lot of filter system, and that's not the case. And swim pond is also not the right word because a swim pond in our mind you think of a more or less natural pond with a lot of plants and ducks and frogs and that's also not it. And this is the reason why we call it in English we call it swim teich. So this man, this smart man, helped a lot of people um, getting their water in their swim in their swim ponds clean again clear again and because he helped so many people he's called the teich doctor that's just the explanation why all this is about teich doctor teich or teich doctor laws so his nickname franz frischmuth is his real name and he's also known as the teich doctor he made up these three laws that we are talking about in this video. So the first law, the first statute that he implemented was or is, it's not the balance of nutrition but the balance of energy that is the determining parameter for the quality or the functioning of water in a swim pond. So what does that mean? We all know that with organic input, with organic particles, um, you get nutrition into your water. Or let's put it a different way. All water contains nutritive substances. And if there is nutrition, if there are nutrition 
in your water, other substances will feed on them. Now, this can be algae, that can be plants that you install in order to extract um, the nutrition out of the water. Nutrition processing microorganism. And it's actually the balance that you have in your water, the balance of nutritive substances and nutritive processing, nutrition processing substances, if they are these substances are in balance, then you have no problem with the quality of your water. Then it will be clear and fine and beautiful. But nearly everybody knows that plants extract nutrition from the water. That's why people tend to have a lot of plants when they have, when they build a swim pond, or at least until Franz Frischmuth, the Teich doctor, came into the play. Until then, um, people planted water plants in order to extract nutrition out of the water. But what happens is that, of course, these plants that are beautiful, no, no doubt about it, um, they die off. And when they die off, the nutrition get back into the circulation of water. And um, that's the point that proves actually um, this law. If you don't have enough nutrition processing substances, microorganisms in your water, then these diet of plants will feed algae and you will have turbid water again. So it's really the balance between these substances, between these um, microorganisms, the ones that are nutritive and the ones who pro process nutrition. If they are in balance, that's your aim, that's your goal, to have them in balance. If you have them in balance, you have a beautiful water. So that's the first Teich doctor law. The second one is very interesting. Water does not need plants, but plants do need water. This law actually uh, goes back to the theory of evolution that says that there was long before there were the first plants on this earth, the first assimilating plants, there has been water. All life comes out of the water that existed as the first thing on our planet. This water by itself has everything or had everything in it to stay pure and clean. And this is the theory that Franz also uses because that's why he's saying you don't need anything for the water. It stays clean and it purifies itself if you just leave it alone, more or less. So this is the second law. Water does not need plants. Only the plants need the water. So if you have plants in your swim pond, that's not because you have to purify the water with those plants. The plants are only there for optical reason. reasons. It's beautiful, no doubt. So if you like plants, have them. Have a swim pond with plants. But you don't need plants to purify your water. That's the second learning. The third law says, and this I'm going to show you a little bit, um, the third Teich Doctor law says that you have to build, and that's again not only for Teich Doctor Teiche, not only for swim teichs, but it's for every swim pond or natural pool that you are building. This law is true for all of them. You should build a swim pond, a natural pool, a swim teich in a way that you can service it 
if you want to service it. What does that mean? If you have a real large pool, lake, like a lake, you won't be able to reach to the middle with your skimmer, landing net, whatever. You won't be able to get out the leaves from the middle of it. If you don't mind about that, that's fine. A Teich, Dr. Teich, will never get foul, will never foul, will never start to stink. Because, as I said, the water by itself always tries to keep balance. It always strives to have a balanced quality. Um, but nowadays, we all, we want our swim ponds and swim tiles and natural pools. We have a very high quality um, attitude. We want to have clear water. We want to see the liner that we so beautifully installed. We don't want to see detritus on the floor. We don't want to um, have particles, organic particles swimming on the surface. That's all things that don't harm the water. It's, it's nothing about the, the, the healthiness of the water, but we prefer to have it all very clear. If you want to have it like that, you should be able to maintain your water, meaning you fish out all organic stuff, you might install a skimmer to get uh, rid of the particles on the surface, and you should also be able to suck out the detritus from the bottom once or twice a year. And for this reason, you should build it in a way that you can also reach those spots. That's the third law. So these are the three learnings that Mr. Franz Frischmuth, the Teich doctor, um, made. And um, how he then um, put those laws into doing, into building, we will uh, talk about in our next video. By the way, I have got some news um, from Costa Rica. In Costa Rica, there are already two Teich Dr. Teichs, two swim Teichs installed. One of them is already three years old. And I think shortly after, the daughter of the owners built one herself. And um, I might show you some uh, pictures in one of our next videos of these Costa Rican uh, swim Teichs. We are quite happy and proud um, that there exists two of them in such a faraway country. So, if you think you learned something today, give us a thumb up and stay with us to learn more. Thank you. Have a nice day.